Good evening, my friends. Thanks for joining me on ABC 10 Sports. We got a lot to get to tonight, so let's skip the introductions because I'm sure you're tired of seeing my face and get right to the action. It's for me, playing host to the Gladstone Braves tonight. Pick things up late in the first set. Hematites are in the lead, and they're trying to maintain that. And a nice shot over by Emily Morton. Braves are able to stop that shot and eventually get theirs over, over the net. But all this passing around by Ishmi, great passing. Riley Harris takes charge with this one and gets the point for Hematites. Let's move on fast forward now. It wasn't all Hematites. Gladstone, they got some juice too now. They would have more than that that one of Ishpeme because they would go on to get that point. That's what I like to see. I like to see the competition. Fast forward, 24-21. Hematites need one more point to win the game. And Braves, they're kind of messing themselves up on this one. Eventually, Hematites will get over the net. And you see Braves, they're kind of trying to get it over the net. And they can't. Bumps all around, passing, and eventually just would not be able to do that. Hematites will win that set 25-21 and sweep the evening. Three to zero. Moving down the street to Lakeview Gymnasium, Miners. Well, it's the Escanaba Eskimos. In the second game, Escanaba won the first one. Hemp Miners trying not to let that happen again, and they're off to a great start. Eskimos couldn't handle that one. That point goes to the Miners. Eskimos, they weren't out, though. Not at all. Eskimos, they're kind of scrambling on this sequence to get the ball over the net, but eventually they do. Don't worry. Nagani, they want to do the same thing, get and maintain the league in this game. But Nicole came and says, nah, homie, not tonight. Point goes to Escanaba. Nagani's like Dan Callahan's stomach after eating his fried chicken. They're not happy, and they showed it on that one. Fierce shot to get the point. Fast forward later in the game, and Nagani really trying to get some more offense going. But Caitlin Stolberger was hot with that one. Nice hit. Escanaba will go on to sweep the night. Three games to zero. And we're taking a look at scores from around the Upper Peninsula. Manistique Emeralds, they shined bright tonight, defeating the Model Towners in three games to zero. The scores were 25-12, 25-23, and then 25-20. Now, in high school football news, we talked about how Gladstone wasn't able to make the trip to Marquette this Friday for the season opening football game. News has come out that a player says it positive for COVID-19, and we spoke with Athletic Director David Lindbeck about the school's plans to move forward after these news, and he had this to say. Take a listen. They're not traveling to Marquette. I notified uh, Alex Dizio on, on Sunday when I got my first notification that we did have a uh, positive COVID case uh, within our program um, in con constant contact with our coaching staff, taking a very proactive approach. Uh, obviously, the next steps are or have been uh, going through contact tracing um, and working very closely with the, uh, with the health department down here. Sport is about overcoming adversity, and we've been going through adversity since last spring and, and getting the kids back together, and, and that's the bottom line. You know, this is one more obstacle that we're going we're gonna to work through. And now lastly, folks, high school football is back this week. So you know what that means, right? Friday night frenzy, baby. So all of you beautiful, beautiful viewers watching at home, it's time to pick the game of the week. This week's choices for game of the week are Menominee Maroons at Marquette. Now, both teams were in the playoffs last year, and they're looking to get farther in the postseason this time around. Definitely going to be a fight. And Manistique Emeralds visiting the Nagani Miners. Manistique is looking to show they are a better team from last year, and Miners are out to show they are better than the last performance we saw them in, which was a massive have lost in the playoffs to Calumet. Speaking of Calumet, the Copper Kings will be hosting the Flivers at Kingsford. Kingsford, Kingsford was a young team last year, and they have more experience now. But Calumet, you know they are always a tough team and a tough environment to play in. That is really cold. You guys can go to our Facebook page or website, abc10up.com, and vote for who you want to be our featured game of the week. Polls will close Thursday at 10 p.m.